So in this video, I want to talk about whether you should have a scripted line when you approach women or whether you should not know what you're saying at all till you walk up. But before I get into that, I want to invite you to like, subscribe and share, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that are coming out to you in the next few months because we're working really hard to bring you the best content on the YouTube for dating. So with that said, let's dive in. This is one that was asked to me by Brad, a friend of mine and a client. He said, you know, should you have a scripted line when you walk up or should you not have a scripted line? And you've heard me in the past, I'm all into feeling, I'm all into not at planning things out, but I do think there's an exception to that rule. I do think there is a time to have a scripted line and a time not to. And I think this is an important distinction. So I want you to really get this. And I wanna ask you some questions. So think about these questions. Are you new at this? Are you filled with fear and you can't think and you spin when you first approach women? Are you like spin in your mind? Or does your mind go racing? Are you, is your heart pounding a lot? Do you run out of words to say? You see, if your mind is going blank when you first walk up and you're really nervous and you're really scared, then having a few scripted lines even if the conversation doesn't go very far, is a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, if you're in that space, have a few what I call scripted threads, have them ready to go. And we're gonna talk about what threads are versus lines. And have those scripted threads, lines with, with, the, with something that I, I consider that, that extends them out even farther, ready to go. And don't use them if something comes up that's really spontaneous and inspired in the moment. If I walk up and I see your dress and there's a little part of me saying, damn, that dress looks sexy on you. And I've got the balls in that moment to say that, say that. Damn, that dress looks sexy on you, look at you. But if you find yourself wanting to edit it and you walk up and you wanna say something like, wow, that dress is really pretty and you're killing the line, then go to one of your scripted lines, something you've practiced in the mirror, you've practiced on camera, you've worked out and you know how to say with power. Now, a lot of you guys know that when I first started out, I, I took the simplest line. It's stupid right now when I think about it, but I would walk up and say, hey, you look like trouble to almost everybody. I'd say it all the time. And I practiced it so much, I could pop it out and go, hey, you look like trouble. Oh, you look really like trouble. Oh, you're totally trouble. I had all different ways of saying it. And the reason I call this a thread, this is something we used to talk about, is I didn't just have the line. We practiced res with all the different responses, just like in sales. I'd say, hey, you look like trouble. And she's like, well, I am trouble. I had lines for that, responses for that. I'd say, she'd say, oh, I am trouble. And I'd say, oh, then I picked the right girl, didn't I? Who do you think's more trouble, you or me? See, that might be something I'd say. I practiced saying spontaneous things. And I have two or three things that I could say for each response the woman gave me. She might say, um, well, I'm not trouble. I'm totally sweet. Why would you say that? And, and I would say, no, because I can, I can see it deep in your eyes. There's trouble in there. I think you try to hide it. And that might be something I'd say. And to do this, what I would do is I would practice the, the, the line, the thread, and with a friend back and forth, and he'd give me every possible objection, just like sales. And I'd practice riffing on it spontaneously. And that's where the spontaneous part comes from. And if I could get two or three minutes, if you watch my last video on this, two or three minutes out of the conversation, then I was usually pretty good and I could start to settle down and get into a natural flow of a conversation. Now, if you're brand new at this, again, I talked about this a little earlier in this video and your mind is racing, these threads can be really powerful for you. They can be something that set you free. And as you start to get calmer inside, as you start to get more present with your opens, and you start to be able to think more and you're not spinning as much, then start letting inspired responses come out of you. Like the dress comment, damn, that dress is sexy. You got a way of moving that's so graceful. And then she'll go, well, I'm a dancer, thank you. Or I'm gonna give you an inspired one that really happened to me. I got a bunch of them, but this is one of my favorites. I was in a crowd of people and this workshop had just ended and all these people came out and we're all saying goodbye. We had a great weekend. And it wasn't in my, one of my dating workshops, it was somebody else's workshop. And I heard this woman talking in the crowd through, over a few people. And there was something inside me that said, talk to that woman now. I heard it. And I immediately said to myself, I gotta go talk to her. So I pushed through the crowd and she was talking to this guy with dreadlocks. And he was sitting there and they were having a good conversation. They were locked in. And it just came out of me, inspired. I need to say this now. And I walked up, because if I said it any later, I'd be out of vibrational time with it. The, the moment one that said now, and I said, I heard you through the crowd and I had to come over and say, hi, your voice is incredible. Matter of fact, your voice is what drew me over here. 
something that it's a little bit of a paraphrase because this was a while ago. And she turned and looked at me and said, oh my God, that is su that's such an amazing compliment. I'm a singer for a living. And, that, and then we went on from there and we totally bonded and connected in that moment. Matter of fact, the guy with dreadlocks couldn't even get a word in edgewise. She completely pushed him out. And that was a few years back. And she's still a very close friend of mine today. We went out a few times and now we're close friends. And I've always loved that experience because it was so in the moment. Now there was another woman that I saw at another event. The event had ended and we were all partying at the end of the night and dancing. I think we were doing a white party. We're having a great old time. Everybody's dressed in white. And there was this girl in this sexy dress, right? But, and I'd seen her earlier in the day and I thought she was really sexy. She took off her shoes because her feet were hurting. And so her feet were hurting. And I knew that women really wear high heels mainly to lift their ass because it makes their ass look better. And the heels are really, um, makes their ass and the back of their legs look really good. Their legs look really good. And the heels can be very painful. And so I walked over to her and I said, I said, oh, your feet are killing you, huh? And she goes, yeah. And I go, well, I appreciate why you wear them anyways, because it makes your ass look amazing. And she lit up and laughed and started and lit up. And we, again, immediately I got her phone number. We started hanging out. We had a great old time, totally connected. That was another line, not really a line, an inspired conversation that came to me in the moment that I immediately went and said, I felt it. I felt my groundedness. I could think clearly. I was there. I was present. My body was turned on for the idea. Now, if we go back to the idea at the beginning of this video, if I didn't have that, that line and I saw a woman, I didn't know what to say. I was in my head. I've been racing. I've been working all day. I don't know what to do. Having something simple to say, like you look like trouble, which I only really used in bars. I didn't use it on the street is perfect on the street. It might be as simple as I just had to come say hi to you. There is something about you. And I just wanted to meet you. And you hold that presence and ground. And that could be all it takes on the street because the street is a calmer energy typically. It's not noisy and chaotic. I'm not trying to pop it as much. I'm just being more direct. Or it might be a simple compliment. You know, you, you have a great sense of style. Again, that's becoming more inspired. Because I wouldn't say that if I didn't agree with that. If I just wanted to meet her, I would literally say that. I don't even know why I'm over here, but there's something about you. And I'd love to figure out what it is. It could be as simple as that. So I'm going to encourage you to go out there and start to develop threads where you actually practice them with your friends, the responses, have a couple, two or three threads ready to go and start to develop approaches you can do during the day, have some for the night, some for the day, maybe a little more bantery at night and a little more direct during the day. And then work as quick as you can to start moving towards saying things that are inspired, that come from your body. And that's going to come as you learn to calm and relax in your bodies, as you get more present and embodied. You know, at Fearless, we talk a lot about embodiment. Embodiment drives everything. As you learn to drop lower in your body, you're going to attract more women doing less. You're not going to have to say as much. You're not going to have to push as hard. You're going to be able to walk up sometimes and just say, hey, I just wanted to meet you. That simple. And she'll start talking. And if you're in your head and you do that, it won't work. So as you learn to get more embodied, that's what's going to do all the magic. So I'm going to encourage you to have this thread, as I call it, ready to go. And I've got a perfect video to help you develop that, at least for the nighttime scene, the bantery stuff. And then I'm going to encourage you to start working on inspired action, inspired stuff you can say. And then I'm going to encourage you to learn to let go and start getting more grounded in your body because that's where that inspired stuff is going to start coming up. As you get more grounded, you're going to get more inspired. You're going to get more to where you hear that inner voice that tells you exactly what to say to get that conversation solid right from the get go to get that woman turned on. So hopefully you like this video, I'm going to encourage you to check out a previous video I did uh, where I break down banter lines from the old company Pickup 101, which I used to work for. They're gone now. I got, got a list of their old banter lines, how to practice them to make them your own. And, and they're actually banter threads where you turn them into a full thread and you play them out. And that video is fantastic for developing this skill set in the night scene. And then the more you practice them, it becomes spontaneous with them and stop making them so rigid. Don't say them word for word. I talk about that in the video. The more powerful they're going to become for you.
And then eventually you can branch off into your own inspired words, your own inspired uh, opens, as you could say. Check that video out. There'll be a link somewhere in here. And uh, with that said, um, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share, make sure to hit that bell notification and make sure to comment. Uh, your comments are really valuable to us. And I, I look at them often when the video first comes out. I'm looking to see what you guys want more of. And I also want to hear how this is working for you. Get out and get some experience with it. And then uh, put a comment in and let me know how this is working for you. Now, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video.